Hey guys, I'm Jacob. You're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. I thought I'd give you a quick update on the Ontario SP53. If you don't know already, um, I had two Ontario SP53s where the knife and tang were loose in the handle. Um, obviously the first one, um, I told them about it. They sent me another one out right away and told me, uh, I believe that the return shipping would be in the box. Something like that. It was awesome customer service, really. But uh, got the second one in the mail, and it was also loose in, uh, in the handle. And you can see some remnants of glue around the edge of the tang in the blade, but it really just was not enough stop it tuck to uh, keep the knife in there solidly. So on the third attempt, and so I'm making this video because... Um, I've been kind of tracking the progress of this. It's been quite a while. People are asking me a lot what the status of the SP53 is. So um, uh, for the third shot, I asked them what was going on. So what happened was Ontario, uh, it's supposed to be a quarter of an inch thick, 0 0.250. And it ended up being, um, they had some stock that was unexpectedly, 0.230 so two one hundredths of an inch off and that's enough to make it rattle um, and also enough to make me trust the handle a lot less and so I didn't really want to take a chance with having this happen a third time so there uh, the Ontario SP 10 has a good reputation I've heard quite a few people have problems with their handle being loose in their SP 53 I have not heard that of the SP 10 it was in stock so I just asked them to send me an SP-10 instead, which, uh, if you've been around a really long time, was one of the first knives that I worked with on this channel, which is kind of exciting to uh, give it another go about five years later. The problem is, they told me they were in stock and they'd get one out to me. Uh, lo and behold, they were not in stock. Uh, so I've got, I guess, about probably a month wait now, I want to say it is the holiday season. It's a big company. They've got a lot going on. Although I am disappointed, I believe understandably, I don't necessarily hold it against them. I know that their customer service is really trying. I've had a lot of good Ontario knives. So at this point, um, I'm just waiting for the SP10 to come in. Uh, on, if you're not familiar with Ontario knives, they just make the most affordable, hard-use, American-made knives on the market. And, um, and they have a terrible website. They're terrible about updating what they're doing, what steels they're using, changes that they're making. That's really not their strong uh, suit. Their strong suit is they make knives for the military cheaper than anybody else in America can even touch. Nobody can come close to Ontario's prices on uh, military orders. They're very affordable, just like they are for us. So that kind of takes priority sometimes. Um, and, you know, I so when I asked them about the SP53, they said, well, we can fix it for you. We'll take the knife out of the handle and put some tape in there and put it back in. It should make up the two one hundredth of an inch difference. I'm not okay with that kind of fix. And I'm not okay with just sticking JB Weld in there, which is another thing that they mentioned. That's not acceptable to me, by the way. Uh, Tuck, the tactical cattle dog, making his appearance again. Tuck, say hi. What's up, bud? Um, I'm not okay with that. I, 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 it needs to be fixed right or don't fix it for me. And I don't like that they're doing this fix. And it looks like these knives were probably kind of fixed in the first place. I don't find that to be acceptable. Um... However, we're going to patiently await the SP-10. Um, I hope it performs for me better than it did last time. I am not necessarily pleased with how Ontario is handling a problem of having the wrong stock thickness. Um, now they're a big company, and so saying, hey, we just ground a thousand knives that are the wrong stock thickness could cost a lot of people a lot of money. I think what's important is how a company handles that first problem 
which I believe Ontario has ultimately absolutely failed at, but also how they fix the second problem, which is the customer, which they will do a great job of. So not all hope is lost. I think that Ontario is a great company. I think they have uh, great customer service and some of the worst marketing and organization in the entire American knife industry. But so long as that gives people the option of an affordable, high quality American made knife, sometimes a couple issues, but a company that will stand behind it, it I think it's worth it. I really like Ontario guys. And so people think that I'm a hater. No, they're not. Uh, that's my update. That's all I got. If you like and enjoy this channel, please uh, subscribe. Give me a thumbs down. Um, that helps the channel's uh, algorithms, YouTube algorithms or whatever. And uh, also in the link below, I'll have a link to my website where I make survival and tactical gear from American-made components, all custom. That's beachandtactical.com. I'll also have a link to my affiliates, which at this point are um, Optics Planet and Palmetto State Armory. So if you go to Optics Planet, which is basically like an Amazon for men, or Palmetto State Armory, which they have a lot of stuff and often a lot of really good sales. If you're going to go there and buy stuff anyways, if you click on my little link and buy your stuff, it helps support this channel. I get a small kickback from that. And uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. So again, thank you for watching. Uh, I will update you when the SP10 comes in. And I hope that you have a blessed day.